It's time to hunt some quarters. I've got a box of circulated quarters here. Um, and they are screaming at me to hunt through them. Hopefully you find something really cool inside. So let's get into these and see what's hiding inside the rolls. Intro, take 473. Cue music. Cue coins. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Now pick them up. I'm not rich. We are on roll number two. We've come across our first find here. We have a double die on this 20, uh, 2021. We're seeing crossing the Delaware. Under the wrist here, there is some minor doubling there. Um, pretty neat little uh, find there. It is a double die, so we're going to put it up here as a find. Even though it is a smaller one, it still counts as a fun find. Roll number six. We got a pretty cool find here. Um, I don't know if it's going to pop in the camera. But this is a 1987 S-Minted Proof. Um, this one is well circulated. It's got some circulation, some scratches and dings on it. Uh, if I turn it sideways, I don't know if you can see how uh, reflective the surface is. It's kind of hard to get it on the camera because of how um, beat up this coin is, how circulated it is. But it is, let's see, can I do it this way? Um, it is very beat up. Anyhow, this is a fun little find here. A nice little proof find in roll number six. Well, right behind the proof, we have another find. We have a homestead. This is 2015. And what do I usually find on these? Some double dies. There's doubling in the windows here. So that is pretty cool. Um, always fun to check out the 2015 and 2016s. Um, lots, of, lots of fun stuff on those. Roll number 10, we've got another interesting find here got a Mary Edwards Walker. This is 2024. There has been some die uh, varieties found on this, some uh, double dies. This one has a little bit of doubling on the back of the hair here. This is a bit more minor one, a little harder to, to see and notice. Um, but this does have that double die there. I don't think this one's listed out there yet. Um, but I did come across some of these in some of the uncirculated rolls I got uh, about a month or so ago. So that is a, another cool little double die find. Roll number 22, I've come across a Harper's Ferry 2016. This one does have some uh, small doubling in the windows here. Another one of those fun finds. It has a lot of stuff to look for. That's another, another double die to go up here with the stack. Roll 35, and we got a really cool find here. We got a Salt River Bay 2020. On the obverse here, we have some doubling in, in God we trust, mostly in God. You can see it there, a little bit in, in, in the N and in, in the T and trust here. Um, that is a really cool find. This is one of the more rare ones for me to find. I think I've only ever found one other one. So that's really cool. Really awesome find. I do check a lot of the ATB quarters, but uh, I never, never really come across them. So that is a awesome find. We've made it to roll 28. We have a really cool find here. This one has an error and a variety on it. This one, Homestead, is a really nice shape on the reverse. The obverse is a little bit marked up, unfortunately. But the reverse is really nice. Um, but we have in the window here a little bit of doubling. And then down here at the bottom of the bucket, we have a die chip. That's known as the leaky bucket. So we have an error and a variety on this one. That's a really cool find. Um, unfortunately, the obverse is not as nice as the reverse. But yeah, that is a really, really cool find. Getting two finds on one coin. Awesome. Roll 29. I've come across another one of these 2024 with the doubling on the hair here. The second one of these um, Dr. Mary Edwards I've, I've come across, and both of them have that doubling. So that might be a common place for doubling. I haven't seen enough to verify that or not. Uh, there is another double die reverse where you can find that has just been uh, recently listed and it's really nice. You can see some behind the hair and around the uh, middle on that one. And then I have also found some die chips in this sense here as well as uh, for some of the other errors. 
Um, that's all I've seen or heard from on these. But uh, this one does have that doubling on the obverse there. It looks like it has a little bit of finger feeder finger scrapes behind the ear there. But that's uh, very, very minor. Um, I'm going to put it up here with the other one and uh, keep going. We'll see if I come, come across another one and if it has a doubling or not. We are on to roll number 30. And we've come across a my third uh, Dr. Mary Edwards Walker quarter from the hunt here from the box. This one does not have the obverse doubling, doesn't have the reverse doubling either. Does have a die chip between the C and E here. It is small, um, and I figured I would share this since this is a new quarter. Um, it's not something I'm probably going to share uh, often uh, because they might be very common and they are kind of tiny, but uh, because it is a newer quarter, I wanted to share that, that uh, you can find some die chips in there. Made it to roll 33, and we got another double die on a 2021 Washington. This double die is a little bit larger than the other one we found. Um, unfortunately, this coin does have some spots on it and, and, and all. I mean, it is three years old and circulated, so um, it is what it is, but that is another double die find. All right, we have made it to the end of roll 33, and we've got another double die here on the reverse of a Harper's Ferry. Pretty cool. This one's a little bit harder to see, but it has, I think, more doubling than the other one we found. But still, that's another fun double die find. Roll 35. We have a um, we have a 2020 tall grass prairie with some die chips on it on the top of the butterfly swings here. There's a little die chip, a little die chip here, and there is a nice die chip there on on top of its head. Most common is on this wing here, and then these are the other two spots that I have found die chips on. This one is a little rough, um, rough, worse for wear, but that is a fun little die chip find, and we're going to put it up here somewhere. Made it to the end of roll 20, uh, 36, and we have a, another homestead with a double die in the window. This one is a very, very minor double die but still counts as a double die. It's one of the many ones listed. This one is a little bit rough, but hey, still counts as a double die. Roll number 44, and we've got another Harper's Ferry. This one has doubling in the windows, like the others. This one is a little worse for wear. Um, it is about, uh, what, eight years old now and circulated, but you know, still a double die. That's our third 2016 with doubling there. Roll 49. We have a 2016, another one with some doubling in the window. This one has a little bit of a damage there on around the um, around the doubling there. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to uh, figure out which one that is, but uh, we'll check it out and see. And uh, hopefully, I have. Well, that's another double die to go up here for the stack. We got one roll left after this. Well, it is time to wrap up here. Uh, we had some. Pretty cool finds for the hunt. Uh, starting out with, we had the Proof 1987 Proof. It does have that uh, dirt and circulation on it, so it doesn't pop like a Proof normally does, unfortunately. But, you know, it, that's what happens when they get circulated. Uh, we had die chips on the butterfly here on this tall grass prairie. And then I ended up with four of these uh, Dr. Mary Edwards Walker. That's the newest um, quarter that is out, newest woman's quarter that is out. This one has the die chip here on the, in between the C and E and sense. And I got three of them with the die chip on the back side of the hair here that is from front of the ear. Um, this one's not listed out on any site yet. Um, then we had two Washington Cross into Delawares uh, with, die, uh, with uh, doubling under the wrist. We had three homesteads with doubling in the windows. This one has the doubling in the window and the die chip under the bucket. So it's a leaky bucket, so it's kind of like a dual, it's an error and variety, so that's really cool. Um, the, the leaky bucket die chip there is one of the, is the probably the main um, die marker for this uh, variety listed. Ended up with four Harper's Fairies here with uh, doubling in the windows. And then we had the one, um, 2020 Salt River Bay. This is not DDO number one like I thought. Um, it's not listed out on Variety Vista. This is listed out on Wexler's DoublesDie.com. 
Um, you can mainly see the doubling in the word God there. There's a little bit of doubling in the Y, but uh, it's mainly in the word God where you can see it. Um, that is WDDR or WDDO number three. Um, I'm still looking for that number one with that awesome doubling. I have not come across the first, the number one. Um, I think I've hit uh, number three once before on a really beat up quarter. So, but still, that is a pretty cool. Find these uh, doublings on there are a little bit more rare, especially in my area. I can't. I've never found any. Um, I don't find them here. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, but that's all for the finds for this box. Uh, so yeah, it was a fun box. Lots of double dies, um, even though they are a bit more minor. But still, always fun to find some varieties on some coins. All right, well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. Helps me out. Drop a comment down below and let me know what you thought. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day. And I want to give a very special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members. Thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel. I very, very much appreciate it. If anyone is interested in becoming a member, feel free to check out the link below. Again, thank you very much for your support. Well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. And if you click on that link right there, it'll help me out. And then I have a couple videos over here that is recommended. So if you would like to watch another one, I would definitely appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day.